Welcome back. We're taking a look at today's beauty shot from Highland Park in Highland Park. A beautiful shot over there. If you haven't visited, it is so worth the trip. Let us know where you like to go on our Talk Pittsburgh Facebook page so we can head out there. Very excited to be in the kitchen today. The fat cat is reimagining after school and late night snacks, and now you'll be able to catch some live music upstairs. I'm joined by the co-owner Corey Hughes. So good to have you here. Oh, thank you so I'm much. So it's a pleasure. Excited. It's it's always fun cooking here. And I remember when you were on Pittsburgh Today Live, and we were talking about this coming. Yes. Uh, because you're also one of the owners of Fig and Ash. I am. Yeah. Hey. And so tell us how you came up with this concept. Well, Fig and Ash was hugely successful we have a lot of support for the neighborhood but what we noticed mainly with the neighborhood was we were starting to get a lot of uh higher priced items on menu items yeah uh, a lot up and down the street with fine dining coming in and uh we thought the coolest thing to do would be to do low-key lower priced fare that the whole neighborhood can afford yeah and uh chefs love cooking at two in the morning after a long day <laughs> is that we... really true oh yeah <laughs> but not, you don't we, we don't cook at two in the morning what you think we cook yeah we're gonna go home and make a grilled cheese or uh, a huge bowl of Captain Crunch. So we fine. <laughs> listen, I live on Lucky Charms. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I found out you can buy the Lucky Charm marshmallows on Amazon, and like that ruined a lot of things. Boom. For me. Done. So what are we making today? All right. So um, we started off. It's we're doing a, a birria crunch wrap. Birria is traditional to South America. It started off with braised goat meat back in the day. Our variation's more of a Tijuana style, which is braised meat. Uh, so we do braised short rib, and uh, we wanted to make a crunch wrap, something playful, um, take a page out of a couple other famous restaurants' yeah. books. And uh, so what we decided on oh, look was at you. a braised, oh, it's TV magic. I've been cooking this whole time. Boom. <laughs> so so what we decided on Oh yeah, that looks like nothing I've ever seen before. Yeah. I know exactly what that is. You, you, <laughs> most people do know exactly what this is. So we just have our tortilla shell. Yeah. We have some of this braised short rib in here, a wok, um, Oaxaca cheese, smoked cheddar, pickled onions, oven roasted tomatoes. And then for our version of crunch, we put in Fritos in the center. Perfect. Because every chef should. <laughs> So uh, what about the space itself? Because you guys have live music there too. Yes, um, thank you for helping plug that because I was supposed to and Alex is giving me the weird <laughs> eye. Uh, we absolutely do. And starting this Wednesday, we're going to do Bluegrass Wednesdays. We're bringing that back to the north side. We just opened up our second floor stage this past weekend during Northside Music Fest. It's wonderful. And uh, yeah, it's great. And how um, was the music fest? We, we had some of the artists here last week. Was it fun? It was a blast. Yeah. It's just so fun seeing the whole neighborhood uh, come out, you know, just there's the neighborhood, there's people from all around. Look at that. So as you can see, the uh, inside is all the braised short rib, the cheeses, the oven roasted tomatoes. Wow. And then part of the birria tradition is the consomme. So this is the uh, jus, we braised the short rib in, mm -hmm. and I hit it with a little bit of uh, oven roasted tomatoes. And it's kind of our play on a grilled cheese, you're dipping in your, uh, you're dipping in your uh, Campbell's tomato soup. It looks which is, lovely. Well, thank you. I mean, you know, it's late night food, but it's still elevated. You're still doing something really fun. Can I dig into this? Or is it you absolutely can. What, tell, tell me what else is on your menu. Um, some of the things that we're having right now are the My Crispy Bologna. Um, we wanted to have fun with bologna. We yep. started off with mortadello. We've morphed into Lebanon bologna. Some of the other items right now is the Elvis. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I want to. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. Mm. It's, you know, it's at a $14, $15 price point. It's like some of the higher menu item costs we have. It's, it's perfect for lunch, dinner, goes with late night drinks. So we mentioned late night a couple times, but you guys are open during the day too, right? Currently, we're open during the day. Uh, we want to see how much foot traffic we can get on East Ohio Street. Yeah. We are also opening a deli next month. Oh, are you? I always plug the you're next gonna, thing when I'm here. Are you going to take over the whole block? You're manifesting. That's what you're doing. You're manifesting it to happen. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're, you know, I keep cashing out my 401k. And my wife keeps saying, what, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, well, no, we're going to be fine. She's like, We're awesome. taking over the north side. That's yeah. what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is great. So where can people find you in the north side? Okay. We are on the 500 block of East Ohio Street. So Fat Cat's at 520 East Ohio Street. Mm -hmm. Right next door is Fig and Ash at 514. Yeah. And then the deli will be down at 401. Are you so happy to have this space open? 
I need, I need you to answer so I can take another bite. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this one was 11 months from mm -hmm. signing on the building to opening our doors. Mm -hmm. The fig and ash took us a little over three years. So there was a lot of anxiety and pressure going into this one to make sure we, we didn't nailed last it. that long. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you nailed this for sure. It's delicious. You got to come and check it out. So good. So glad to have you back here. Pleasure. It's always a joy to see you.